Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel Developers and Coders Club. Today we are here to discuss the problem trip testing which can be in context of courses that was started at the So in this case, uh, school wants to plan a trip of group of K students and one mentor. So they are K plus one persons, K are students and one are mentor, one is mentor. So a hotel is booked for pair stay where the rooms are formed in form of matrix A with unrows and uncolon. That means what is the format of hotel that is this type. And these are the rooms. So, and size is this is n into n. And total n into n rooms are there. And where the room i and j has the capacity of a, i and j. So there is certain capacity of every room and that is a, i, j. The distance between the rooms i1, j1 and i2, j2 is given by maximum of i1 minus i2 and j1 minus j2. That is what is the distance between this and this. That is maximum of this side and maximum of this side. This is the distance between any two rooms. To ensure that the trip goes smoothly, the room should be booked in such a way that the distance between the main room and the farthest room of a student is minimal. So we want to minimize the distance between main room and the farthest room of a student. And so for that what we can do? That just think that uh, there is a point that if you, anywhere you are asked that what you can what is the minimal or what is the maximum in that not every case but uh, in the most of cases we will use binary search why because in, like if we talk about this case if we want to find the minimal so what is that that we want to find any particular x such that all elements which are less than x should not follow that particular property for this that should be false and all elements which are more than this x should follow that property and for that this should be true so if anywhere you are asked minimal or maximum then most of the cases binary search will be applied so in this question what we want to find that we want to minimize the distance we want to minimize the distance between mentors room and the farthest student room so for that what we can think that we want to find any uh, like we can put a simple binary search in which l or l will be zero and what will be the r that is the maximum distance that can be uh, mentor and uh, farther student and what that can be that will be like we put our mentor in this cell and our student in this cell that will be the ma maximum distance so this is uh, n and this is m so what is distance between this and this? That is maximum of n or m. So what we will do? We will put a binary search on these two. We will calculate our mid. So what we will do for this mid? Like just think as a black box, this function check is doing what is this doing? That this will take a distance and this will simply check that can we make any arrangement on this uh, hotel such that the distance between the uh, mentor and the farthest student is less than or equal to mid. What this function is doing? That this is just simply checking that in our hotel can we make any arrangement in which the distance between mentor room and the farthest student room is less than or equal to mid. If that is then this will give us true. And if that is not, then this will give us false. Now, if that is true, that just think that uh, we are checking for five, and that is given that yeah, this is possible that we can put our mentor and all student in such a way that the distance between the mentor and the farthest student is five. Then just tell me that uh, for six, seven, eight, that is always true, because if we can make any arrangement in which five is true. Then always we can think any arrangement in the distance is less than or equal to 6 is also true. So what I want to say that if that is true, then update our answer with this mid. What this is saying that uh, yeah, this can be our answer, but there can be any answer, there can be some answers which are less than this mid. So for that what we will do, we will update our r with mid minus 1. And if that is false, then we will update our l with mid plus 1. Just think that, uh, understand it with like we want to find this x. Now, if that is true, then this is in this range mid. So, we want to 
give, uh, go in uh, left side and if that is false that means mid is in this side then we want to go in uh, right side so this is the binary search we will which we are applying now what is the time complexity of binary search that is log of n so log of m and n i'm taking n now there is a line written in the question that the n dot n will be at max 10 power 6 so that is 10 power 5 maybe that is 10 power 6 so if apply we make a code which uh, the time constraint of that code is this one so that will not give us clearly why because this is 10 power 6 and this is log n so that is order and log n now what we will do or check function this will check for every cell for every cell of this uh, hotel that is this possible if we put our mentor on this cell then the distance between the further student and this mentor is equal to mid this is the this function is doing now how we will calculate that for that we will make a prefix some array prefix some 2d array for that i will put a description uh, put a link in the description box you can check that that will be a yusakugai link and there the, in a nice way demonstrated that uh, how to calculate the prefix sum for a 2d array so for that what i will do that uh, just think that uh, all value of mid is 2 then what we can say that uh, from this m mentor we will create a matrix this will be like this now you can see that for every cell of this matrix the distance between that cell and this mentor is less than or equal to 2 you can check that like uh, if you check for this and this so this is true this is true and this is also true so make some of this true so for every cell of this matrix the distance between the mentor and the uh, the further student can be less than or equal to 2 now what we want to say that is there possible any arrangement in which we can put all the students and the mentor in this particular matrix if that is possible then we can say that yeah that is uh, possible that we can make the distance between mentor and the further stu student less than or equal to mid now our target is that that find out that is this possible to make a arrangement such that uh, we can put our k plus one, one members in this matrix for that we have to find the sum of elements of this matrix for that we use this prefix summary and you can check that in this so we will check the sum from this now if our sum if our sum is more than or equal to k plus 1 then we can say that yeah that uh, there is a arrangement in which we can put our k plus 1 members in this matrix so if that is then we will give true and otherwise we will give false now there is a condition that what we are saying we are saying that if we put our mentor on this particular cell but there is a condition that uh, if what if array of i and j is equal to equal to 0 if that is then we cannot put our mentor on this, that cell so along with this we also have to find out we also have to check that array of i and j should not equal to 0 if these both conditions are satisfied then we will give to otherwise we will go false so what we are doing that for every uh, mid for every mid we are checking for every cell that is this possible that if we put our mentor on this cell then the distance between this mentor and the further student is less than or equal to mid for every cell and if there is any cell for which is, this is true then we will return true otherwise we will return false so if you check the code then first of all we are taking input for uh, our capacity of rooms then this is the prefix summary to dear then uh, this is the binary search code that l is 0 and r is maximum of n and n then if that function is returning as true then we will update our ans along with that we will also updating our r with mid minus 1 and if that is not that we are updating our l with mid plus 1 now what is this function is doing that uh, we are checking for every cell that is this possible that uh, if you put the mentor on that particular i and j 
then the distance between that and the h point is less than or equal to nil. So that we are calculating c1, c2, r and r2. What is the c1, c2 and r and r2? That just think that uh, this is our hotel. Then if we put our mentor on this cell and we are checking that is this possible that um, value of mid is 2 then what we will say that we are checking for this matrix now we have to find the coordinate of this cell and this cell why because in our prefix summary we will calculate the sum of sum from prefix of this like we just think that this is c1 and this is c2 this is r1 and this is r2 coordinate of this and this so how to find the sum of this that will be prefix of r1 and r2 that is the sum of all this matrix will subtract prefix of r1 and c2 minus 1 what is that that is uh, sum of this because this is r1 and uh, when before cell before for this that will be c2 minus 1 along with that we are also subtracting c1 minus 1 and r2 that is this one but we are subtracting this two times for that what we will add that prefix of c1 minus 1 and c2 minus 1 so this is how we are calculating calculating the sum of this matrix so for that we have to find the r in r2 and c1 c2 so you can think that if mentor is here then what is the coordinate of this that will be or r like uh, this is i and j then i minus mid and j minus mid these will be coordinate of this one and i plus mid and j plus mid this will be coordinate of this cell so for that i am calculating the c1 c2 r1 r2 then our c1 c2 should not be uh, negative and zero so for that i am applying these four condition that r and r2 also should not be more than m and n then we are calculating the sum and checking our both condition then if that is true then we are returning to and for any cell from i uh, whole cells that is not true then we are returning false so that was a simple code for this problem i hope you all understand it see you in the next problem till then happy coding bye bye